anyone who has ideas of getting into government as a lobbyist or a politician or an aide needs to go to the Capitol on a night like the last night of the session, when it seems as if everyone is trying to put together a last-second deal and the real offers come out. No one has seen it more or knows it better than current Capitol Bureau Chief Chris Keating. Is that right, Chris? It's like crazy on last night. Although, you know, I mean, I don't know how much of those last-minute deals are really last-minute. It seems like they've been working on those for uh, months. But if you could tell us, in your opinion, I mean, are we hearing more about budget problems nowadays, or are, they ac are there actually more problems to hear about? Well, there, there are a lot of big problems. I mean, there's still problems going forward. What happened the other night was they, they did resolve the budget for the 2011 fiscal year, and they had finished the problem for the 2010 fiscal year, mm -hmm. which is what we're in right now. Okay. But in 2012, when the next governor comes in, there are some very large and looming problems, a uh, potential deficit of about $3 billion. So for the short term, they have solved the budget problem, or they think they have for the very, very short term, but there's still problems going forward. And do you think that uh, they did enough of that? I mean, I know Republicans are characterizing it as, uh, you know, the Democrats just kicked the problem down the, down the sidewalk. Right. Well, what they did was they, they, they solved the problem really only for this year and not really much of a rollout problem. Mm -hmm. in, in, in other words, they, the Republicans were complaining that there weren't fundamental changes in government, fundamental consolidations or privatizations, fundamental changes that would allow you to save money in the future. They said that didn't happen. Do you think that there could have been or was there just uh, too much contention between the two? I mean, could there have been fundamental changes made? I, I, there could have been, but uh, the, the Democratic majority basically did not want to do it, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't want to change the way the things that the Republicans wanted to change. And the governor, uh, this is her last year, the governor, kind of in a pragmatic move, uh, agreed with the Democrats, and they finally finished the budget on time during the legislation uh, regular session, which basically doesn't happen. What do you think are the biggest uh, things that were included in the budget that homeowners and, and people watching tonight or today are going to uh, appreciate? Well, the budget overall, it's $19 billion, which is a very large amount of money. Uh, it pays for everything from prisons to uh, state employee salaries to everything. There's no major new tax increases, okay? No change in the income tax, no change in the sales tax, no change in your gasoline tax. So for the average person, there's not that many changes. There are some changes in your electrical bill, which right. is a, a little bit complicated. Um, in, in some ways, it goes down before it goes up, one of those kind of things. There was certain charges on your electric bill were supposed to expire. Now they're not going to completely expire. They will partially expire. So technically, your electric bill will go down a little bit, but it should have gone down more. Right. That's that what the Democrats sense. were saying. It's, it's a decrease, but less of a decrease than you might have been expecting. But the right. Republicans were saying it's, we're terming it as an increase. Right. In other words, <laughs> say, say you're paying 10 bucks a month for something, and it's supposed to go down to zero. Say it only goes down to three bucks a month. They said, oh, you save seven bucks. That's right. basically what's going on. All right. So that was kind of controversial. Um, what were some of the other contentious points? I know that the airport, the Republicans are saying we should sell the airport. And, and Governor Rell in the past has said we should make it kind of quasi-public Right? Right. Public private. right. The airport, the airport <laughs> is kind of a two-part situation. The Republicans said you could sell Brainerd Airport in Hartford and Bradley Airport in Windsor Locks for $800 million. Mm -hmm. The Democrats were very skeptical that you could get $800 million for these two airports. Uh, the second way of doing it would to create a quasi-public, like a port authority to run the airports. Right. That's not going to happen either. So basically, the airports will remain the same. Uh, there will be no changes. Uh, Rel was saying if you ran it like a port authority, you could make extra money off of it. The Democrats are very skeptical of that, and that will not happen. Is that idea, though, going to come up again in the, in the future? Probably, yeah. Uh, until the state's budget problems go away, yes, ideas like that. Selling state assets um, such as that, obviously the airport is a massive asset. Um, those ideas will keep coming up, but as to uh, whether they'll go anywhere, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, obviously we're going to have a new governor next year. There'll be a new makeup of the legislature. Some of the uh, important people are leaving. So uh, we'll see what happens then. And we were also speaking about some of the things that were not included in this budget, some of the interesting things like the Governor Rell's Keno proposal. Right. Did not get included. Why, what happened there? Keno will not happen. Uh, the Democrats were not uh, all that interested in Keno. They thought it was a bit of a gamble, a roll of the <laughs> dice, basically, frankly. Uh, what they were going to do is uh, legalize Keno, which is now played at the casinos. Right. 
Right. Basically, they were going to, you could play it at every bar and restaurant or wherever else. That was, that was part of the plan, which will not happen. They but was said, that, so that was, was that a, like a morality argument there? Or? Um, not totally. Well, uh, they, they thought that the Indian tribes that run the casinos would be against it on legal grounds. Mm -hmm. So you could have this whole big legal fight. Um, also, they didn't think it would raise enough money. Basically, okay. what they were going to do is that they were both going to raise money from it, and then they were going to borrow money against that money that was raised in a okay. securitization plan, it's called. So uh, the Kino will, will not be happening. But that, that would have been in uh, supposedly you know, 600 to 1,000 outlets. That would have been a, pretty much a major change. Wherever you went to a bar and restaurant, you would have seen uh, a Kino game. Right. Um, but uh, now you've got to go to the casinos <laughs> to do that. What other big um, elements were left out? Uh, well, there was a series of bills that, that didn't pass. Uh, the, the conveyance tax, if you yeah. sell real estate, if you sell your real estate uh, right now, there's basically an extra charge uh, on the so-called conveyance tax. That did not happen, but they're telling us that'll probably happen in June at a special session or at a veto session. Uh, CCM, the Conference of Municipalities, was not happy about that at all because they take right. that extra money and give it to the cities and towns. And uh, Wednesday night, it kind of fell off the radar screen. And um, the extension uh, at the moment, unless something changes, will not happen. But uh, the Democratic leaders and Governor Rell are saying that they are in favor of it. So supposedly that should happen. How much of any of this was impacted by the fact that this is an election year and people maybe didn't want to get their hands dirty or didn't want to take any action that might not play favorably at the polls? Uh, probably a lot of it. A gigantic part of it was on election, uh, election year right. thoughts. Uh, last year, the budget didn't pass basically until September. Fiscal year starts in July. They go through the whole summer. They basically don't sell the budget till September. Now, this year, in election year, suddenly the budget's all done by May 5th. Uh, and, and nobody... Uh, at least the Democrats are saying you can't say that Hartford's broke and broken. You can't say that anymore because there was an agreement. The Republicans are publicly very mad at Governor Rell because all the Republicans basically voted against the budget right. and uh, Governor Rell signed it with the Democratic support. All right. Well, it was an interesting session, to say the least. Uh, thanks yeah, very much, for Chris, sure. for covering it so well. And we want to give you special thanks uh, for scrambling to get here today at the last minute. I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you missed something here on The Real Story, you can now watch it online by going to fox61.com. You can also catch us on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching this week's edition of The Real Story. We'll see you here again next week.